Hi, good afternoon. I am Dilip Sanoni. My PhD subject is novel synthesis of heterocyclic compound under green media. With going environmental concerns, nowadays we have been witnessing various innovations and scientific breakthrough leading towards the generation of more improved and efficient uh, synthetic protocol that will not only avoid the use of towel present but also develop the generate and <clears throat> efficient synthetic protocol that will not only avoid the use of towel present but also but also but also didn't generate any toxic waste. Thus, researchers from all over the world are in a continuous search for the designing of environmental building protocol that include major issues like energy consumption, atomic efficiency, sustainability of chemical process, and efficiency of the process. In organic chemical reaction, solvents play a very important role in a include ex extraction, reactant, solubility, washing, and separation of final products. Since last several years, researchers across the globe are taking the pain to generate an alternative that will replace a toxic harmful solvent with more environmentally bearing alternatives. In this case, we have witnessed ion liquid, supercritical carbon dioxide, polyethylene glycol, mechanically separable nanomaterials, solvent free reactions, mechanochemical grading, micro ultrasonic assisted synthesis, flow chemistry, and water are among the most widely explored greener alternatives in recent years. Thus, in a general view, uh, researchers are directed to their ultimate way of research approach towards the generation and develop of catalyst-free, solvent-free, and aqueous mediated reactions towards the synthesis of novel heterocyclic compounds, but are also facing certain problems that include mainly insolubility of reactants, longer reaction times, lower yields, and limited selectivity, which can be cultivated down by the mixing reactants in a water or mixture of solvent. While water ethanol, the use of surfactants in aqueous media or a reaction at elevated, although it is a true to note that different forms of catalyst or reagents along with the organic solvents are usually utilized in a general routine or in reaction in a targeted some potential cyclic compound. Uh, <clears throat> my idea is that, thus in short, it is a nail beating task to avoid the use of catalyst along with harmful toxic solvents in organic reactions to address all these key aspects of organic chemistry at the same time we have to go hand in hand with environmental health safety and economic target successfully thus to sum up process that are based on the fundamental understanding that addresses several green chemistry principles water is considered as a green solvent for organic reactions towards the synthesis of novel heterocyclic compounds although chemical reactions performed in or on water are not generally considered as a greener reaction and, it, and often do not meet the requirements of ideal green process that are documented in the literature. A careful literature survey reveals rapidly increasing the reports under this heading includes mainly dioxide reaction of organic catalyzer manager reaction, three components coupling reactions utilizing gold catalyst synthesis of benzoatropine, sticker synthesis of amino nitrous, Bellis Hellman reaction synthesis of spiroxyindole indoles etc. Working principles for the synthesis of heterocyclic compounds under green media, following methodology is carried out. Uh, parent parallel synthesis can be carried out using non hazardous solvent and catalyst. In order to follow the green approach, initially one equivalent of each metal substituted benzaldehyde and four hydroxychloroquine acid are mixed up with 0.5 mole potassium helminth as a catalyst. The solvent used in this reaction is water and alcohol. This re reaction also carried out without catalyst. Uh, sir, targeted outcomes. Thus, in the current study, we are making a positive attempt to develop not only the most promising but alternative greener methodologies for the synthesis of potent heterocyclic compounds that can be lead towards the development of future drug target against cancer, tuberculosis, obesity, HIV, and neurological disorders. Again, in water and on water reaction for the synthesis of heterocyclic compounds can be utilized with the purpose of designing safe, more benign, as well as low environmental impact process that can be ultimately lead towards more improved efficiencies for industrial application. Under this ideology, we are willing to develop a novel strategy for the synthesis of following heterocyclic compounds. Thank you.